Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Break Games and welcome to a brand new video. This time we're doing LEGO Star Wars Castaways. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a mobile game on Apple Arcade. So this is a $5 a month roughly subscription that you have to pay and you get access to a whole bunch of games on Apple devices like iPad, iOS, uh, iPhone, everything like that. So this time we are doing Castaways and we're going to try it out. This is going to be the first time we play it. There's also LEGO Star Wars Battles is on this service. So let's go ahead and start this game up and uh, see how it plays here. I believe it's played in like side-scrolling orientation yeah game loft okay yeah so this game is being made by game loft and not TT games which is kind of interesting um, so that's kind of a uh, a different uh, factor there alright so here we go Lego Star Wars castaways so tap to start let's do it play buy and customize okay it's kinda of what it's advertising on the loading screen hold your device like this okay I'm already doing that And wow this game's got proper like cutscenes and everything I was not expecting that <laughs> for a mobile game, uh, not gonna lie. Alright, so we've got, uh, he's flying around, I'm not sure who this character is. I believe you make your own character, so maybe that's supposed to be the character that you create. Look how even the asteroids out in space were, uh, made out of Lego brick, that's kind of funny. Okay, so we've arrived on this planet. This is, a, uh, this has got some high production value, I was not expecting, like, full, I guess these are, like, CGI cutscenes. Um, I was not expecting that, it's probably the only one, I'm guessing. Choose your appearance. Okay, so we can actually uh, choose what our character looks like. Let's uh, let's go with a bearded guy. Let's do that full beard. Let's make it uh, well, that skin color. Can I change the the color of the beard, or does it have to be black? Uh, let's just oh well, let's just go with that. Let's go next. And then we got the hairstyles. Okay, uh, okay. Wow, there's a lot of hairs. Look at that. It's like Jimmy Neutron right there. <laughs> if you guys are familiar with that show. Um. I like the kind of the spiky hair. Let's do that. Okay, here we go. This is where you change your, uh, your hairstyle. Let's just do brown hair, I'm guessing. Let's go next. And Darcy. Okay, I do not want my name to be Darcy. Let's see. How do I make it? Can I just make it Quick Break Games or no? Okay, I guess you can't. Let's just make it Shaw. Why not? Are you finished? Yes. So I guess there's just a bunch of like preset character names. Um, all right, so here we are. Uh, we have Faye Doctut, <laughs> whatever her name is. She's the Ala Secura species. Someone in the comments can let me know what her species is called. I'm not familiar, familiar with all the Star Wars species names and everything like that. Your ship made quite the impact on the beach there. Are you okay? You're probably a bit confused. Totally understandable. Everyone who comes through the Maelstrom is at f is at first. Okay. Uh, oh, two Tor is going to be so excited to meet you. Follow me. Okay, so how do we actually... Okay, so you just move around, okay. Touchscreen controls, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but you know what? Sometimes you just have to put up with them. Alright, so before you meet her, Tutor has been here a long time and she can be very protective. A bit odd, sure, but she means well. Anyway, you can find Tutor near the observatory. Go and introduce yourself. Alright, so there's the observatory. And so, wow, this is like a proper, like, big open world. Like, this would have been a cool game. I feel like this even could have been on consoles. But they probably want it to be on mobile because, well, a lot of people are on mobile. And uh, there's the, there's a Bosque species right there, whatever he's called. I'm Kick Zoo, I guess is how you pronounce that. If you're looking for another song and dance, go find another sh shopkeeper. I'm here to do business. If you want to make a deal, let's talk. Okay, I guess we're not going to talk to anybody right now. But yeah, I'm really impressed. These are like fully three-dimensional graphics and everything. Like, it looks really sharp. Um, okay, so this is the person I need to talk to. Tutor, okay. It's a, it's a uh, droid, so maybe it's just uh, T-U-T-O-R is how you're supposed to pronounce it, but we're going to keep calling him Tutor. <laughs> Greetings, you must be one of the few arrivals. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Tutor. I am a curator and caretaker of the observatory, the impressive building behind me. The observatory was built by an ancient society of scholars, the Sacred Order of Ramulus, uh, and houses an archive of all collected knowledge and wisdom in all of the known galaxy. What? So we have this place that has an archive of all of the wisdom, and we've never heard of this planet in all of Star Wars. My job is to ensure that it's protected. If I fail, all galactic history will be lost. Yeah, it seems like something we should have uh, heard about in Star Wars by now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it can be a stressful job even for a droid, especially these days. Haha. <laughs> oh dear, the observatory data is under attack again. So who's attacking it? The Empire? A mysterious virus we call corruption threatens to destroy all of the observatory data. Oh. Uh, if the corruption spreads too far, it may destroy the observatory. Our little island would be lost. 
Uh, to keep a history safe in these archives, to keep us safe, it falls on us to help wipe away the corruption here. You will need this. I call it Virus Removing Oddly Operated Machine, or Vroom for short. Take your Vroom and head to the Hollow Simulator quickly. Congratulations, you have earned the Vroom reward. Okay, it literally looks like a broom. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the enemy is a virus. That's interesting. Very fitting for uh, 2020 and 2021. <laughs> Alright. Oh dear, the corruption. I wonder if this game was made before or after covid became a thing that'd be interesting uh oh dear the corruption has spread much further than i thought this is not good enter the tent of four hollow simulation quickly training level okay select start okay so now we're getting a loading screen low on grenades or mines search for yellow refill crates oh look at this we actually got that look almost looks like it's from skywalker saga that middle picture there i wonder if this uses some skywalker saga like cutscene, like it uses images from Skywalker Saga or something, that would be interesting. Thank goodness you're on uh, the Tent of Four. Ex now explore the ship to find the corruption and remove it. Okay, so this is like a simulation of uh, the ship here from the beginning of Episode Four, where secret plans took place, actually. So we had a broom. Oh, what is this? Lock door, quick, destroy the panel nearby. Oh, do I just destroy that panel with the broom? Is that... Oh, okay. So the broom is our weapon. We don't get a lightsaber, we literally get a broom. Which, which they call the Vroom. Okay. Uh, are these studs? Or are these... I guess they are, yeah. We're, they're going into our... Uh, look at the top right. We're actually gaining... These are like the new studs. They're like holographic. That would be cool if the studs were holographic in Skywalker Saga. But we've already seen them. They don't look like that. Um, unless they change it later on. Who knows? But you know... the Oh, shoot. I did blew myself up. <laughs> so we do have a health bar. So should I be like destroying everything like I do in, in regular, regular LEGO games? Like to get uh, true Jedi or whatever? There doesn't seem to be a true Jedi meter, so uh, maybe not. But it's, I mean, it can't be a bad thing to collect these uh, these little studs. So, but yeah, as I was saying in Skywalker Saga, it uh, it almost looks like the studs are a little bit more holographic, if I remember correctly from the trailers. So maybe they are kind of going for that uh, vibe. But who knows? Maybe maybe that's just me uh, making stuff up. But, all right, so we destroyed that panel. Let's continue on. And again, I'm I'm really impressed. This is like a full on like. It's really incredible how good mobile game graphics have gotten. Now, I am playing this on an iPad Pro, so this is probably the absolute best this game is going to look, you know? Uh, so maybe if you're playing on an older, like, you know, five-year-old iPhone or something, maybe it won't look as clear, but... I mean, I I'm pretty impressed with the resolution on this thing. Uh, the corruption has been cleansed. So all we had to do is walk up to it and just beat it with a broom? Dude, this, this corruption's a joke, man. You can destroy it with a broom. That's all you need. So what is this other option? Oh, is that like a special move that I just wasted? Oh no, it recharges. Interesting. Okay, let's exit. So I guess that was kind of the first level. Mission completed. Training level. Enemies defeated. Zero. Nodes destroyed. One. Data bits. So they're not called studs. They're called data bits. Okay. Next. Use the force jump skill to jump over obstacles or into hard to reach areas. I think this is what that said. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the main place here. Talk to this dude, tutor. Well done, after that adventure you may have questions about how exactly one leaves here. Well, you cannot. That's right, the whole game takes place here, I think. Ships that enter the maelstrom surrounding this planet cannot leave, trust me, we have tried. In fact, some of our persistent residents try over and over and over again with no luck. Okay, that's basically telling us that this planet... So I guess that's, uh... I guess that's why no one's going after this database. Now, are these real players? Days Ofer? Mendeley, Finlay, and all these other... I wonder if these are real players. Like, is this online? I'm not entirely entirely sure. Let's see. So, complete the first hollow sim, so you get, like, a reward for that. Okay. Collect your first star. What do stars do? That's the question. So, do we need to go back? Oh, we gotta go back and talk to Tutor, I guess? <laughs> Even though we just got done talking to him? Okay, let's see what he's gonna say. Oh, a star co commendation. How very exciting. Okay. Uh, you earn stars by helping complete tasks around the island. The more tasks you complete, the more stars you earn. What do the stars do? Oh my, you actually look excited for another adventure. Well, in that case, welcome home. Please explore the island and meet the locals. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And uh, since we did the first level, I might end things off. This might just be kind of like a part one. We played the first level. Just kind of introductory uh, the, the introductory levels of this game or phases of this game and maybe I'll make more videos about this a bit later So we'll explore a little bit. We'll talk to some people. How do we there's some players like walking up to me, but I Can't seem to like there's no option to talk to anybody. 
I can talk to this dude again. Let's talk. Let's talk to uh, this blue person right here. Kivo Doctut. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. You must be Faye's new friend. I'm her father. Okay. See, so you burn your first star. Very good. Uh, let me show you what you ha what I have for sale. Okay. So this is what we use our what were they called? Something bits uh, for. I already forgot the name of them. But so we can already buy like a stormtrooper helmet. Um, I don't know if I want to actually. Let's just buy the stormtrooper helmet. Why not? Well. Or should we buy... Maybe we should wait. Maybe there's, like, good stuff that we should save up for, like... Like, some of this stuff. Like, that's 30000 for the hood. So, obviously, we, we want to, like, wait for that. So, how do I actually get out of this? X. For some reason, I can't... It's, I think it's making me buy something. So, let's buy this cheapest thing here. There we go. Okay, now it's letting me leave. Okay, so it actually wanted me to buy something there. Uh, hmm, that's your pick, eh? Well, you've got good taste. I'll give you that. I bet you would have said that for anybody I chose. Okay, so that was actually one of the rewards. So we get data bits, that's what they were called. So we get another star for that. And again, I'm not totally sure what the stars do. Maybe that's just how you progress the story. You have to get so many stars to continue. Who knows? Um, but with that, I think we'll end things off here. I, mean, I feel like some of this... Oh yeah, so these levels are, are locked. You have to have four stars for that one, ten for this one. So that seems to be how you kind of like progress the story. And uh, I think eventually you get to end up playing like co-op and stuff. Let's explore some of the menus. So we got daily, weekly, and story missions, I guess is what it is. Uh, let me go into the options just to see what kind of options we have. We have joystick sensitivity, navigation, arrow, music, online play. So we're not really doing anything online right now, I guess. Maybe we haven't gotten far enough. Uh, then we have this special kind of dash ability. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for this first video for LEGO Star Wars Castaways, available on Apple Arcade. So let me know what you think about this game. Did you play it yourself? Uh, or maybe you don't want to, uh, you know, pay the monthly subscription, or maybe you just don't have an Apple device. But I'd say if you do have an Apple device, definitely uh, sign up for a month, you know, five bucks. If you don't like it, you can stop paying for it. I'm actually running on a free trial myself, but uh, it's definitely a very interesting game. I think it could uh, have a lot of depth to it. And uh, I need to play LEGO Star Wars Battle again. Let me, let me know if you want to see more battles or more castaways, which one do you want to see more? Because I'll definitely definitely probably dive more into these mobile games, because uh, I think they're pretty interesting, especially this one. This one seems more, uh, there's more to it. It's not just doing the same battles over and over again. There's actually an open world here with different levels, leveling up uh, currency and all this kind of stuff. So there's a lot to this game. So let me know what you think of LEGO Star Wars Castaways. Like this video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if not, and subscribe for more videos like this. We're always covering the latest in LEGO games here on this channel. So if you like LEGO games, you're going to love this channel. So I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.